Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the VTuber News. I hope you guys enjoy what I have in store for you. Let's get right into it. Noctix didn't do as well as expected, but I mean, when you expect very little, I think this is still pretty good. I expected less. So for me, this is still pretty good uh, views, pretty good max. This looks like the max CCV um, of everything. So they're talking about Albin, Sunny, and uh, Uki's. 3Ds uh, compared to Finana's 3D. Even Finana 3D had a lot more, it seems like. It was last year's 3D, but, you know, at least it, they're comparing it to a 3D. They should, probably should have compared it, honestly, to be very honest with you. They should have compared it to 2024 uh, situation and a, a sp special one for 2024, but I guess because that was her 3D appearance, 3D versus 3D is the best that they could do, of course, which makes sense. Um, Albin 3D, he had 2899, 19878 for Sunny, and 13593 for Uki. Because of the fact that Uki is toxic in the sense of his uh, his name is toxic right now. Not having a lot of people follow them. Not having a lot of people, you know, want to watch them. So that is kind of expected on the Uki part. It sucks for the other ones, of course. Not me looking at how Uki is the least out of everyone. Not just you. It's going to sound very hypocritical coming from me. But sometimes there's some dumb fun in indulging one's inner number Andy. May this one be one of those times. Part of this is that he's the only one debuting during NA time instead of CN time. But yeah, it's a pathetic number. For reference, he got only 200 more views than the lowest 3D debut numbers on record, which is Rainbow's 3D. Albin is expected got good numbers. It isn't as high as it would like it was before the Niji meltdown, but Albin is a cool dude. Uki is the Noctix boy that, you know, had the thing against white people. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, due to some uh, foot and mouth moments of their members, of a member, specifically Uki, as far as I know, and the EN meltdown that happened after February, after Selen situation, uh, there aren't a lot of people outside of the already small community, well, small-ish community of Nidhi Sanji diehard fans. Uh, there aren't anybody outside of there, which is where you grow, that would actually watch. Here is a bit of a just, you know, a little bit of memes. Since Mano Alo's birthday today, or as they're known now, Delutaya, as of course, as you know, I always mention it. Um, I'd be very impressed to post this meme here. Uh, here we go. I kind of enjoy being teased, Mano Alo. I miss Mano. Mano Alo, the reason why a lot of people feel very, very serious about Mano Alo and feel very, very sad about Mano Alo and the situation that w went on there is because, for those who don't know, Mano Alo was a member of Generation 5, which, you know, has Botan, Lami, Polka, and Nene. Um, she was a part of Generation 5. She was like a little, uh, I think it was a succubus VTuber. And she was, she had to leave because she got, you know, she got a lot of threats. She got a lot of stuff like that. And uh, right now you're talking about Matsuri being, uh, you know, Matsuri, the, the Edo goddess. She loves that that whole that whole thing. Matsuri is a bottom though. <laughs> she redebuted as Derutaya, being pretty well there. Uh, she's entertaining and does her best to provide good streams for her fans when she can. She indeed likes those kinds of games. She does. So that's kind of a little bit of mean time. Got banned right after her debut. Megalodon VT got banned. And this is BS. This is messed up. And I will tell you. I will tell you why it is. Okay. This isn't it. Because look. She's following the guidelines. Hide your hips. You know, cover your hips. Cover, you know, have some coverage for everything else. She has the coverage. At least I think she does. Thank you for your amazing debut. You're also sweet. I really hope the new models. You love the model as much as I do. And then, boom. What was it? That was an hour later. I just got banned on Twitch, huh? Thanks for the debut, I guess. And she responds and says, Thankfully, I was told the ban will only last 24 hours. I should be able to start my 2.0 debut back up around 7 p.m. CST today. I love you all. 7 p.m. CST is about 5 p.m. PST. Uh, I can't wait to hang again, lovers. And of course, people reacting. It's good news, Mega. I can't wait to see the hangout with, and hang out with you again. Uh, Twitch honest response. Uh, I'm sorry for being annoying. It will happen again. Good to hear, Mega. But if it keeps happening, you and the rest of the VTuber community have to stand up for yourselves. There has to be a way to move to a different agency, different place. But you have to remember, a lot of times, this is the only big spot. Uh, Twitch, you have Kick, yes, but Kick isn't nearly as big for VTubing and for anybody who just wants to stream and not create, you know, other content videos like I do. If you just want to stream, this is the big place to do it. Also, uh, it says right here, dang. Hello, Megalodon VT. Your account was recently suspended due to inappropriate attire. A member of our team has reviewed your appeal, and after taking a look at the details of your case, we have determined their account will remain suspended due to violation of our community guidelines. Monka, how long? Only until today, thankfully. Mega, that's effing horrible. Of course, people do not like what's happening, and I can absolutely understand. It says, I'm going to become VR chat streamer at this point. Probably will help, honestly. It sounds really messed up, but it'll probably help. 
Uploading content or streaming yourself co-host or guests wearing attire that violates their nudity and attire policy, including showing visible outlines of the, you know, that stuff. An exposed underbust. Examples violate a uh, of violative content, conduct, uh, featuring someone who's wearing a speedo or bikini while cooking, featuring someone who is intentionally exposing clear visible bulges or outlines of their genitals, uh, using an augmented reality avatar on stream that has insufficient coverage. And it says, I have a little pit in my stomach after all this. It's like I know everything is going to be okay. And I can correct the mistakes but I, I made, but I don't know. Maybe something I I'm just stream sick already. Um, And she says, like, here's, as I'm going to put a little bit more, put all this work into the whole year into this debut. And then I messed it up so bad. She didn't mess it up. It was Twitch. Twitch is just being dumb with VTubers. It, if you have an IRL person doing the exact same type of debut, the exact same type of thing on, because according to what I've heard, she was in pools, hot tubs, and beaches, which should allow this type of stuff. Uh, from what I understood, it was something that allowed this type of stuff, the pools, hot tubs, and beaches, which is the one that people go to when they have, you know, bikinis and stuff like that. You're going to be wearing a bikini at a beach. And I believe she had a beach background too. So it's not like, what the heck? I'll make sure to be more careful from here on out. Even though I might not like it, Twitch has their reasons why they banned me. So maybe I shouldn't be so spiteful. I would accept the reasons of enforcing it equally and not allow other streamers to get a pass, especially the streamers that are their favorites, like Amaran and others that, you know, are the favorites of Twitch mods. Uh, they say they have their reasons, but don't point to specifics. They have prepared email and a ban button. Cites random examples without details of where, when, and with someone or something banning without accountability. Try not to blame yourself is what this person's saying, which is very true. Uh, Twitch has been banning uh, VTubers like crazy, and in most cases not giving clear explanations why. Needs to make their guidance fair and equal for everyone. I'll cut that off there. Uh, please don't blame yourself, Mega. You did nothing wrong. Uh, it's just Twitch being Twitch again. Stay strong. And I agree with that. And uh, of course, they're saying here, thankfully, I was told the ban will last 24 hours. And like I mentioned before, and this is the uh, ref sheet that she had. Like I said, the coverage here should not be the issue. My guess is the one on the very far left was the issue. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they thought there was some underbus there. Maybe it was too jiggly. I have no clue. But because um, it doesn't show, it doesn't show any like forceful genitalia doesn't show anything like uh being in outlines of anything or anything like that maybe it was like if she had worn maybe like short shorts type of thing maybe it would have been less of an issue and again uh here you have her popping out and showing everything maybe that was too much uh because she's in the she's in the seek oh that was probably what got her ah uh, to be honest that's probably what got her that focusing on her hips it was something that twitch is extremely defensive about and i don't know why but that may be what got her but she was in pools, hot tubs, and beaches where people freaking show their hips all the time. People do weird yoga stuff. People are in bikinis that are there that are that bad or worse in some cases. So I don't see how that is a huge issue. But again, she's a VTuber and Twitch seems to hate VTubers right now. Yuki Sakuna, who used to be Aqua. She is retired from Hololive, but now is Yuki Sakuna. So let's just go with what she is now. Uh, holds the record for the most viewed VTuber debut of all time. That means like the actual debut, not in like the, the, the most seen uh, VTuber special event or anything like that, because there are others that are even more. I believe Aqua, the one that she used to be, in Hololife has even higher peak views than this, uh, reaching 381,524 concurrent viewers, at least as of the, the, the you know, the, the full thing here, according to what this person is showing on this part right here, 381,524. That is huge for an indie. But of course, a lot of people, it was, it was a, a very, very badly kept secret of who she was, as I've already shown you. Everyone knew who she was. Everyone in the JP field knew who she was, knew what, what was happening, knew where she was going to. They knew because people find it and they, they, they spread it. They spread it to everyone who liked Aquatan, everyone who liked, you know, all of them. They spread it. And of course, why? Because they want to support their ocean, the person behind them. They want to support the person who, who was the person that they were watching every day. This is where it's more the personality and the individual behind it than the actual VTuber model itself. Sometimes it's more the VTuber model. In this case, it was the person behind it, as can be shown by the amount of people here. Of course, she has an amazingly cute VTuber model done really well by her mama and it hit 383k at one point. We're so close to 445k, 383k peak, and it is 290k average live viewers, according to VStats which takes everything here. The peak was right here, 383, 139, and the average is 290, 879. And of course, with all these, you can also end up getting, uh, you know, things with um, other stats that are out there. And it also, you know, it links you to the direct site 
thanks you to everything that was going on here. It's a very cute model. Very cute model. People are very happy that she's back. People are very happy. And as you can see here, they're happy enough that they already got her to 724k subscribers as of the recording of this part. And of course, going to continue with the amazing number that she's getting, 306, you know, of other people staying here. And this is the V stats, the full ranking of everyone in there. And what this is, you can see Minato Aqua. It's very tiny. I do apologize for that. There we go, a little bit bigger. It is Minato Aqua from Hololive, 749. 854, this was her graduation, was leaving. Kiryu Koko, 491, 342, her graduation as well. Uh, Yuki Sakuna, an individual VTuber, got to number three in the most ever watched VTuber peak CCV streams out there, period. This includes Nidhi Sanji Official, 319, How Live Official, 273, Maizumi Kai, 260, and Nidhi Sanji. But for her, an individual, as now she is an independent VTuber. She used to be part of Hololive, but now she is the independent Yuki Sakuna. And that is insane for anybody to do, for anybody to make. And of course, it being her time back, and since she hadn't posted on Yuki Sakuna and removed a lot of her previous content. So she pretty much cleaned up the whole thing and to start over as new Yuki Sakuna. It's the same old channel that she had before, but she started up as Yuki Sakuna again, so she removed everything. That means she has to wait for monetization to happen. She has to wait for... Um, she's going to be monetized just by the stream, guaranteed. But YouTube, it takes a couple of weeks, anywhere from two to four weeks for the full monetization to go through because um, YouTube is kind of slow on that whole thing. Subscriber-wise and also hours-wise, just in this specific one here, you can see it has had 2.8 million views. And let's say each one of them watched it for an hour. She has millions of hours just starting out. Even if they watched it for a couple of minutes, she has hundreds of thousands of hours just there. Easily, easily. So she's going to be monetized and this is going to be a wonderful time. And of course, I do want to show as a last part bit before we end this section. I uh, do want to show the cute, cute model that she had, the fluid movement, the expressiveness, the little cat-like smile that she has, and also some of the background stuff from other people who were involved in the whole involved in the whole thing of the intro and things like that. So that's what I want to show you as kind of a final part of this. And congratulations to Sakuna, who is now starting their journey as an independent VT. This Halloween month, this spooky month, has been a crazy month for everybody. We had, instead of it being the spooky month, it ended up becoming Easter for all the lovers of anything VTuber like. So we have, of course, we have um, not Nami getting Sonic Shadow Generations, getting... Um, you have Yuki Sakuna, who's also used to be the Maid Onion, the Gamer Maid Onion, who's now, you know, has her debut. You have Mel, who was in Hololive, and now is Rika, of course. Rika Channel is going to be debuting on the 31st. They had been a channel for a long time, of course. As I already know, everyone else already knows if they followed Rika. She's been a channel for a while. She's been more of a static image. So now she's getting her live 2D debut. That's what it is. So she's growing up and she's becoming live 2D. And then we have Doobie 3D, as we all know, as I mentioned, the uh, famous detective, the famous blonde haired detective of Hololive has become Doobie 3D now for more creative freedom. All of them are having more freedom in what they're doing. And it is absolutely insane to see this. It is wonderful. I'm glad to see people being able to move on, not have any, any lingering bad thoughts, any lingering... Uh, effects of where they came from any kind of bad you know bad memories or anything like that hopefully no bad memories hopefully none of that but yeah it says have to admit i was not expecting that sonic stream at all nami sensei it's been so long um it's nami is sana sana of course sana the eternal sana from hollow live council hollow live en council who is not promised but sana is actually doing some streams occasionally of course they have you know health issues that prevented them from staying in hollow live when they were in there and that is of course as I mentioned, um, it is great for them to have a new start to um, to many things they wanted. Hollow Lives Bay has had her Choo Choo Bay, and Hollow Stars is recently having their Hollow Warmest, which basically Hollow Armist, uh, which is their um, Halloween 
event right now. So Bay did the true to Bay, the Chuni Bay uh, 3D. Um, basically, people are here saying, uh, don't know how they performed last month, especially Ruza. I don't come in the comments and give me that. Anyway, let's enjoy. And Bay, thanks for all the content and last you provided us, you chaotic rat. Congratulations on this amazing 3D live and the fact that it's free. Quality was insane. And this is why I mentioned that the 3Ds, the 3D lives, those things are usually, for large agencies, they are pre-recorded. Why? Yeah, I'll show you in a second because it takes a lot of, of planning, a lot of, you know, dancing, a lot of that type of stuff in order to get things right, in order to get all the movements right, all the transitions correct. And that's better, more properly done in post-processing, more properly done and rendered correct when it is a something that is given to you later on. So here we go with the two things. First is Bay. She's doing Shanti, which I can only show you a little bit of it. Do something, 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 happy candy. Happy, happy, happy candy, many, many money. Never know, you know the tiny devils. That's as much as I can I can show you when it comes to the actual uh, music, because of course it is copywritten. And uh, Hollow Life did get permission to use it, of course, but uh, I didn't. So I'm I have to be a little bit more careful. I have f fair use on my side, but they can still claim it. So that's why I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Not Hollow Life, but the people who did Shanti originally. And uh, you know, the dancing is amazing on their end. The choreography of it is really well done. She did a lot and put a lot of effort into her dancing, as you can tell here. Uh, going a little bit further, she did something with Gura, which was uh, Kuso Meguri. So these are things that Gura is still doing, even though she's a bit like, you know, has taken hiatuses here and there. She does things like this, as a lot of others do. Nene has done it and others have done it. But if you can tell, like there has been a lot of effort put into this. She goes through everything right here. You have deep cover for Milgram, her dancing of it. So yeah, you can see all the effort she does. She does all these things, a lot of wonderful stuff. Change I couldn't be. <laughs> really, really well done. And that is that part. That is the part that I want to show you. I could go freaking for hours on this stuff. But here we have also Hollow Warmus, which is the second part of what I wanted to show you guys in this section here. And here you go. Here's their Halloween costumes. <laughs> Taxes overdue. <laughs> Gerard T. Rexford. He is he is a uh he's a funny with that one. And of course, you have the other ones here, pirate, and uh, it looks like a werewolf or a cat. Cat, I guess. And one is a pumpkin, too. Ghouls and guys having their fun times. Spooky question, Urban Legend scares you the most. Uh, oh, oh, wait, is that is that like from a sailor one? Um, no, is it different no. from Morelai? Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> Your I also okay, like the mine, one where when mine, you're mine. driving uh, in a certain place, like, a white lady again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so they talk about all this wonderful stuff. They, they, It's gotten a good amount of views. It's gotten a good amount of support. And of course, I'm glad that Hollow Stars is still pushing forward. Hollow Stars and Hollow Live are pushing forward. Cover has not forgotten either branch. Cover has not forgotten any of their branches, no matter how small they may seem. They are pushing forward. Matsun, an independent VTuber who used to be Hisaki Ganma from Upper of Hollow Stars, is going to stream for the first time. Of course, I'm mentioning who they were because I like letting you guys know where your Oshis have gone, if I do know about it, and if it is something that is openly available and public out there, I will let you know who they were only after they have left their agency, of course. I won't let you know who they are, if they are still active in their agency, if they're active in their agency and haven't, you know, become affiliates or something like that, where they no longer stream with the agency, that type of thing. Um, so they are, you know, announcing that on October 29th at 7 p.m. JST, they're going to be doing their thing. Remember when some NDF got extremely pissy at Hollow, was so tight-lipped about the reasons behind his termination? Proof they don't actually care about VTubers since, one, the gritty detailed determinations are private matter. Fans aren't entitled to a VTuber's private matters. I agree with that. The info that was publicized just explained the reasons for termination in broad strokes because you have to address the Terminator's fans. Being vague regarding the reasons for termination helps to maintain a VTuber's reputation when or if they want to stream again. Unlike when the GE ended of, you know, doing bullet points to hurt the, the liver or doing something outright to kind of try to uh, slander the liver when they leave. Gamma's co-workers didn't have positive things to say about the circumstances of the termination. If the NDF had their way, it's like the Gamma's reputation would have suffered more. I hope the best for Gamma. Hopefully he can get his termination from Hollow behind him and maintain an audience. Uh, well, even the termination notice, albeit broad, 
paints a picture showing Gamma was a bit difficult to manage or he didn't want to change. Whatever is being troublesome, regardless, the fun guy to watch from time to time. Whatever the reasons were for him leaving, whatever the reasons were for him being terminated, it is absolutely his thing. It is his and Hollow Live's business. If they don't want it to be out there, they don't want it to be out there. That doesn't necessarily mean it was a horrible thing. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was something that was, you know, he did something really bad or, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means that they were actually wanting to be prudent and not put that kind of stuff out. Sayu Synchronicity, of course, as you know, has been doing great work, doing a lot of wonderful things for the community and for her. Of course, uh, this means that... She's also going to have Halloween merch, as you can see here. Uh, she has her own page where you can go buy the merch. We can have the Cinco Pumpkin Enamel Pin, Glow in the Dark Skibbity Sticker. You can have Sayu Dead Button Pin, uh, the Halloween Desk Mat, the little cute high Halloween uh, Sayu Pumpkin Stickers, uh, Cinco Pumpkin Keychain. It's just, it's double-sided, as you can tell here, it's double-sided. So uh, you have the Docky Plush Keychain. You have all these un other wonderful things. You, have, of course, have Trick or Treat Tote Bag, all these wonderful things for you a uh, ghost donkey keychain and all the other things that she's had before of course you can go in there and support her for this as well as i want to show you her new look it is her halloween look and of course she has the visor that can go down and move up she has she's freaking very nice very well done a lot of work went into this and there you go it's uh i had the chance to work inside your sin halloween outfit or kelly life 2d let's go why you main model artist is uniho of course as always and outfit artist is monaco 55 everyone loves it such an amazing collaboration of Mamas, Super Mama Power Fusion. Thank you for rigging this so well. The mask looks great. Uh, thank you for your amazing work, Monaco. It's a pleasure. Everything was organized so well. I did all the rigging with joy. And that's the thing, of course, you have to have it all organized in a certain way in order for it to be rigged properly. So the Mamas definitely worked really hard to make sure that Sayu was going to get everything properly done. And of course, her models are always very, very expressive. So that's going to be great gonna be great to see welcome back everybody to the vtuber showcase the place where i like to showcase everything that i can about the vtuber world and showcase some up and coming vtubers some vtubers that i you know should have a little bit more reach out there making the community a better place because of course yes i do involve i do i'm involved in a lot of news a lot of drama whatever you want to call it but there are good things that i want to push out there in the community and this is one of them of course i have the form down below if you're a vtuber who wants to be showcased on my stuff at any point in time you can go in there now let's talk about this one which is kalex vt or kalex skullcaster they are a half orc vtuber with legion digital they are here um kalex skullcaster channel legion and they have been doing warhammer uh you know tales of arise eluded and chronicles other things like that they've had of course shorts as well let's take a look at shorts you okay uh, I've been better. Nope, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, 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 no, no. <coughs> I was, I was eating. Oh, I was not prepared for that. Yep, no one can prepare you for the, the cheeks. The cheeks that just appear randomly on your screen. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you allowing me to showcase you on my channel. And I do hope that you are going to get a little bit more views, Calix. And I do hope that this helps you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.